everyone. It's been a long time since I've seen all of you. I missed you. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and drinking lots of wine at home to get through this. Um, it is the new way to taste wines with COVID-19, so we will try to do this virtual thing, they call it, and put up with me. I'm not too good at this. The first wine we're tasting is a Falangina, and it is from Campi Valerio. Campi Valerio is in Molise, and Molise is a very, very small town in the southern part of Italy. Uh, it's a family-owned business, and we came across this brand as one of our reps went to Italy and found out that his family was from there. After a while, he tracked them down, and they were still in the wine industry, so we got very lucky and were chosen to be the importers to the United States. A Falangina is a white wine with um, kind of a floral bouquet, light, light in color, dry, crisp, a little bit of stone fruit. Uh, let me see. It smells really, really good and it looks beautiful. Uh, great with seafood, chicken, um, sitting out in the porch now that, that we're having a nice weekend. Very relaxing and easy to drink. Mr. Bill has made Valangina in Fania, the wine of the month. It sells for $11.99 and salute everybody. I'm gonna taste it. Delish, just as I remembered. Next, we go to France. And as you, most of you know, I'm not a big, big white uh, fan of white wines, but I do appreciate them but I have become addicted to rosés. Cape Rosé is from the Languedoc in France, also southern France. It is 100% sin salt. It comes from a rocky soil. It has some nice minerality. It's very, very dry. On the nose, you have delightful raspberries, some fresh, crisp, I want to say, ocean breezes, but really is not. That's a lie, but it makes it sound better. Um, it's lovely to drink outside with light meals, cheese. Just sit on the porch. We have nothing else to do these days. Cannot go anywhere, so just enjoy it. Have some nice, nice food, uh, light food, some friends, social distance, and drink the rosé. Nice, nice raspberries. Let's see. Maybe a little bit of watermelon. It is funny. It is watermelon. i uh, never detected that before. So we're going to go next to another lovely, lovely wine. The Cape Rosé is $10.99. And then we come to Justina. As you can see, Justina de Moja. Um, it, Justina is named after the second son of the owners of this vineyard. They have named all of their wines after their children. It's, um, and the last one, Sofia, which is the Reserva, is named after um, the owner's wife. They're young, a young couple, they're Belgium. He was in the um, IT industry but really they wanted to move out of Belgium, go to a slower pace of life, and they moved to Spain, to Valencia, and were really interested in um, doing wines with native grapes. So they found the Bobal. As you might recall, I think Mr. Bill did a wine tasting last week with another Bobal. This one is sustainably farmed, they do everything according to the land. They've gone back and only produce grapes and I mean wines that have sustain, uh, sustainable and native grapes. Um, the Justina is a beautiful red wine, delicious with charcuterie, uh, meats by itself on the nose. You have some nice berries, maybe a little bit of 
don't know, cedar, some herbs, soft, nice palette. It, Valencia is in the northeast part of Spain, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the closest city, big metropolis, is Barcelona. Uh, also very nice and modern, like this wine. And I think we're all going to enjoy these wines. Um, Oh, I could drink this all night. A nice fire for these rainy days we're getting and outside. And let's all stay safe, drink well. And the price of this wine is $11.99. Hope you're all enjoying it. Come by Mr. Bill's, wear your masks as we're all supposed to do. And enjoy the weekend and the rest of the summer. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.